What's up? My name is Drew. I'm an intern here at the Family Foundation. For the next 10 minutes, you're going to see exactly what goes on during a typical day here at the office. We'll talk with the big wigs, the low men on the totem pole, and just about everything in between. So come on, join me as we take a closer look at the Family Foundation. Good morning, Marie. How are you doing? Good morning. This is Marie. She is an administrative uh, assistant and our receptionist. How are you doing this morning, Marie? Very good. Do you want a minute? Ooh, yeah, that would be great. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Alrighty, now let's move on down the hall. Uh, going left, we get to Roger Pogie's office. Right. And Roger is very busy at the moment. Moving on, we've got the workroom. This is where I spend the most of my time. It's a little bit quiet right now. We've got MD over here. We've got Christie's. And this is perhaps the most important part of the office, especially for me. It is my desk. This is where I spend actually a relatively small amount of time during the day because I'm running back and forth everywhere, but a very important place in the office. And here's the office of Jessica, who is our legislative assistant. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Drew. She's also pretty much my boss. She gives me all of my assignments every day. Keeps me busy. We try to. <laughs> and here's the office of our vice president of uh, policy and communications, Chris Friend. He gets Drew, the... how are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. Yeah, you get the corner office. Pretty nice. Office, pretty good cool. view. Yeah. Pretty cool. Kind of messy. Sorry. <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Too busy to clean. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the office of Steve Rossi, who is our pretty much chief lobbyist and our blog writer. Right. How you doing, Steve? Past the kitchen. We pass once again Roger's office, and here is Dan's office. Uh, Dan is apparently in, enraptured in some uh, pressing business at the moment. This is Dale's office. Hey, Dale, how are you doing? Right on. And moving on, this is the other corner office, Victoria Cobb's office, and. Victoria is not in right now. Hopefully we can meet with her a little bit later. But as you can see by the state of her desk, she's a very busy woman, obviously off doing some work right now. So hopefully we can catch up with her later. And that pretty much concludes the tour of our office. It's a busy place around here usually. Kind of quiet right now though. So uh, anyways, now that we're done with the tour of the office, let's head on up to the GAB. And this is the GAB. We spend probably about half our time here at the Family Foundation. This is where all the senator and delegates have their offices, and this is also where the committee and subcommittee meetings happen. Alrighty, here we are at the GAB. We're going to see what a page does on a daily basis, so we're going to follow Heidi around onto the coat room. Probably my favorite room in the GAB. One of the reasons this is my favorite room is that everybody's coat looks exactly like mine. Meaning that I spend a lot of time in here looking for my coat. Uh, what are we delivering today, Heidi? We are delivering uh, flyers telling the members of the Senate Ed and Health Committee to vote yes to House Bill 1042. All right, so let's head upstairs and make our delivery. Hey, look who we ran into in the <laughs> elevator. That's what I do all day, right up and down the elevator. What is the primary responsibility of a page? I think the primary responsibility is for us to, you know, help out with all the little jobs so that they can prioritize the bigger jobs for them to get. So. Responsibility. They need to do what they're told on time, fast, quick, mm -hmm. and they need to do it well. The primary 
responsibility of a page is basically to do what needs to be done and just to get it done so that other people can do more important things. In the medieval times, the pages were there to help out the squires who helped out the knights. And um, when the lowest people do their job right, then the higher people can do their job right. So, it looks as though we have a consensus. The job of a page is simply to provide support so that the staff here at the Family Foundation can better do their jobs. I do pretty much the same thing, except that in the place of page, I have intern written on my name tag. For the best part of the day, lunchtime. Favorite place to go to lunch here in Richmond is JoJo's Pizza. Probably the best pizza in the world. JoJo's does entail quite a wait, but we're hoping that it'll be worth it. You know the pizza's good, when at the end of the meal, your plate's soaked with grease. Oh yeah. Right now we're heading up to the General Assembly building. We're going to be going up and uh, watching a committee meeting. Alrighty, so now that the meeting is over, we are heading over to the Capitol. And here we are at the Americans for Prosperity rally. Here's Deanna, and here's Roger. Hi Roger, how are you? Have we had success today? Yes, I think we have. MD especially got a whole lot of signatures. Yes, sir. And now I'm going to try my hand at it. So far I have a blank slate, but we're going to try to change that. Today is Pregnancy Resource Center Lobby Day here at the Capitol, a day in which the leaders of the various resource centers throughout Virginia visit their representatives to let them know about the job that PRCs are doing right now, and also to let the legislators know what they can do to help them in that job. They're about to be introduced on the floor of the House right now. Let's go take a look. Today is Pregnancy Resource Center Day at the Capitol, and we have center directors, volunteers, and clients of those organizations visiting with us today. These entities reduce the number of women who appear on the doorstep of our tax dollar funded state and local excuse me, health centers. Mr. Speaker, I ask the members to give a warm welcome to those visitors who are with us today. It's been a busy day here at the Family Foundation, but any day that we can effectively do our job and glorify Christ, we count as a successful day of work. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've had as much fun as we have. Matthew 5 petitions us as Christians to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world, a beacon on a hill. That's what we attempt to do every day here at the Family Foundation. I hope today you've caught a glimpse of our mission here, and I hope that maybe sometime in the future you'll decide to join us. But until then, Thanks once again, and God bless. After you become a senator, are you going to run for president? Uh, that's, that's debatable. I thought after I ran for senator, I'd probably run for a community organizer, and that would help my chances of becoming president.